about that. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sunken treasure discoveries. It's amazing. We're getting to see something that's been missing for 70 years. But many people have schemed, have suffered, and died to bring it to that point. It's blood money. It was part of the biggest hoard of Greek treasure ever found. For this list, we're looking at the most valuable troves of artifacts, bullion, and precious stones ever found under the waves, both in terms of monetary and cultural value. What's your favorite sunken treasure story? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The RMS Titanic Often when you think of sunken treasure, you're likely to think of pirate ships or old vessels that lost their way as they approached the New World. I think Titanic was one of those great mysteries. How could it just fall off the face of the Earth? Yet one of the most famous sunken vessels of all time only lost its way in the 20th century. The Titanic was the largest vessel of its kind in that era, and despite its reputation, it went down after hitting an iceberg about 375 miles south of Newfoundland. The disaster resulted in the deaths of more than 1,500 people. With the ship sank a large collection of artifacts and valuables estimated to be worth around $200 million. Many of these items were recovered after the ship was first rediscovered in 1985. Number 9. Thonis, also known as Heraklion. Not every sunken treasure is about gold or even loot itself. Sometimes the treasure is something far more profound. Thonis, or Heraklion as it was known in ancient Greek, was the main point for international trade within Egypt in the late period, which lasted from 664 to 332 BC. Located about 20 miles northeast of Alexandria, the city is thought to have sunk into the ocean near the end of the 2nd century BC. The remains of this ancient port were left a mystery to modern humankind until French archaeologist Frank Godio finally explored the region in 1999. Pottery, coins, statues, and countless other artifacts have since been identified. The city is still being explored to this day. I would assess that we haven't excavated more than 5% of those two sites in 20 years. Number 8. The Belitung Shipwreck Also known as the Tang Shipwreck, this little vessel was discovered just off the coast of Belitung Island in Indonesia. The 58-foot-long Arabian Dhow sank around 830 AD and was thought to be on its way to China. Its construction was unique for the time, with planks sewn together using rope made from coconut fibers. Discovered by fishermen in 1998, it's an incredibly rare find. Marine worms would normally have destroyed a boat like this, but it was preserved quite well in the underlying sediment. Thousands of bowls and other items were found, and the cargo was purchased for $32 million. Number 7. The Witta Galley Originally a fully equipped galley ship, the widow was thought to have carried cargo, passengers, and slaves. Captured by Captain Samuel Black Sam Bellamy in 1717, the ship was used instead for piracy. However, after just a few months amassing valuables from other hapless ships, the crew's luck ran out in a violent storm as they neared Cape Cod. She capsizes and is ripped apart by the angry seas. 144 pirates are lost with her. Their possessions, weapons, and millions in looted treasure scatter across the ocean floor. The once proud widow is gone. Much of the ship was thought to be destroyed and the loot gone forever. Since then, more than 200,000 individual pieces of treasure have been recovered, with an estimated worth of $400 million. With the Widow Project, we actually have the opportunity to see how pirates really lived and died. We can almost, not quite, but almost connect with them through the objects they once handled. Number 6. The 1715 Treasure Fleet in July 1715, 11 ships from a Spanish fleet sailing from Cuba to Spain were sunk by a hurricane off the coast of Florida. They were transporting silver, gold, and precious stones plundered from the so-called New World. These ships were filled with unimaginable riches to be presented to the king and queen. Since then, treasure coins have been popping up all over the place, including beaches. This gold ring right here, I found right there when I was 16 years old. It was the first gold wow. coin I ever found on the beach. One particularly lucrative haul of gold coins, recovered in 2015, was worth $4.5 million. 
It's estimated that there are many, many millions of dollars worth of additional loot still down there, just waiting to be discovered. Number 5. Neapolis It's hard to imagine losing an entire city, or even portions of a city, to a tsunami. If one were to strike the likes of a large modern metropolis and wash it out to sea, what would archaeologists in the future find? Almost 17 centuries ago, in 365, just such a disaster struck the Tunisian city of Nabul, known then as Neapolis. The search for the remains of this fallen city began in 2010, and by 2017, it seems the fruits of their labor had paid off. The remains of Neapolis have grown from a suburban community to a vast urban layout. And these newly discovered submerged ruins could finally unlock the mystery of Neapolis's importance. Researchers found streets, monuments, and tanks used to produce a popular fermented fish sauce of the time called garum. Archaeologists have found ancient garum-making tanks across the Roman world, all with a similar design and engineering to the tanks uncovered at Neapolis. Number 4. The SS Gersopa Now, if the reports are true, this could be the largest ever known precious metal cargo recovered from the sea. Sunk off the coast of Ireland, the SS Garsopa was a British steam merchant ship launched in 1919. The ship continued its duties well into the Second World War. The boat was lost at sea during a return trip home after a German U-boat sank it. That's the actual hull made by the torpedo. She was sailing from Calcutta to Liverpool when the Gersapa went down 300 miles off the Irish coast, along with a cargo of tea and silver. A lot of silver. In 2011, a U.S. company called Odyssey Marine Exploration was hired to retrieve the vessel's contents. By July of 2013, it had been reported that more than $210 million worth of silver bullion had been salvaged. It was a lucrative find for the recovery company, as they were able to retain 80% of the cargo. Number 3. The Atocha Motherload 400 years ago, the Nuestra Señora de Atocha left Havana, Cuba for Spain and sailed right into the middle of a hurricane never to be seen again. There was a last-ditch effort to anchor. The anchors didn't hold. Her bow pounded on the reef, broke her bow. She took on water very quickly, and she sank like a stone bow first. In the 1970s, treasure hunter Mel Fisher found the ship and began recovering the estimated $450 million cache of gold, silver, and emeralds. One ring alone was worth half a million dollars. And recovering that treasure made Mel Fisher one of the wealthiest treasure hunters on the planet. Did you ever doubt it? No, no, I knew it was going to happen. We've been looking for 16 long years. The state of Florida attempted to claim the treasure for itself, but Fisher took them to court and eventually won. Mel Fisher has been called a hero and a huckster, a visionary and a schemer, an inspiration and a con man. In 2014, the shipwreck was added into the Guinness Book of World Records for being the most valuable to be recovered. Number 2. The Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes Sunk by the British off the coast of Portugal in 1804, the Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes was a Spanish Navy frigate ship, which had been transporting gold and silver, as well as vicuña, cinnamon, and quinoa. In 2007, Odyssey Marine Exploration discovered the wreck and set out to recover an estimated $500 million worth of valuable antique coins. Mark Gordon from Odyssey Marine Exploration says an expert in 17th century coins estimated the value of the haul. He looked at a representative sampling of the coins, and in amongst the group that he saw, he was able to determine that there were values ranging from $400 to $4,000 for individual coins. By May, they had flown over 17 tons of content from Gibraltar to an undisclosed location in Florida. This resulted in a legal battle with the Spanish government, who ultimately won the case and had the treasure returned. Before we discover our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Caesarea treasure, the largest gold collection ever found in Israel. The North Carolina in South Carolina, sunk off the coast of South Carolina in July 1840. The Santa Margarita, sank in a hurricane in the Florida Keys four centuries ago. The Antikythera treasures. This Roman-era shipwreck is still revealing secrets today. By accident, 
the divers had rescued some of ancient Greece's most beautiful artifacts. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Spanish Galleon San Jose When it comes to discovering sunken treasures, nothing comes close to the holy grail of sunken ships, the San Jose. The Colombian government says the ship found laying on its side identified by its unique bronze cannons with engraved dolphins. In November of 2015, the Spanish Galleon, which sank in 1708, was located by the Colombian Navy using a Remus 6000 underwater vehicle near Cartagena, Colombia. The gold, silver, and emerald aboard are estimated to be worth a staggering $17 billion. It had everything. The cargo manifest lists gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, all of the wealth and taxes collected over six years from Colombia, Panama, and Peru. As a result of this immense value, a lot of protections have been put in place, and the Colombian government has classified the ship's current location as a state secret. Dive teams have kept the exact location of the galleon secret for obvious reasons. It was found in a thousand feet of water during what was very much a high-tech treasure hunt. There have also been disputes around who found the treasure first. So far, the treasure has yet to be extracted, but expect a record-breaking haul when it is. Quite literally, we're talking about billions of dollars in, in treasure. I really can't see any of the parties that are going to be willing to just throw in the towel on this. At the same time, more treasure, the more trouble. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.